What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Brand new electric bike here up on the channel. This is the all new Ad Motor M560 P7 all-terrain mountain bike. Now, don't get it twisted. Mountain bikes can also ride on gravel trails and regular trails as you see behind me, which we're gonna be riding a little bit of both. And I'm always curious doing reviews on bikes like this and kind of see which one takes the cake and becomes, I guess, the new king of the budget-friendly e-bike out there. So without further ado, let's get on the trail, let's get some clips, and we'll talk a little bit more about the specs of this bike. All right, so we've reached a crossroads at the trail. Make a right, go across the bridge, or make a left and go up this hill that is heavily just rocks and dirt and shrubs, and this is an all-terrain bike. So, yeah, let's go up that, and then we'll, we'll head over that way. No problem, no. So... I had to come down here to get my backpack because I have a chest cam. I'm going to be giving you guys a different perspective of this hill because holding the selfie stick on this 40 degree grade with choppy surface and rocks and stuff sticking out, one, it's pretty dangerous, and two, it just doesn't make for a good clip for you guys. So I'm going to give you guys the POV angle from the chest because it also really helps you understand kind of what to expect if getting this bike. A lot of people, when they buy bikes, they want to understand basically what the cockpit feels like the width of the handlebars, the shifters, where everything is. So I'm gonna give you guys a better perspective of that right now. Okay, so to put things into perspective for you guys, I am six foot tall, 184 pounds. With the adjustable seat post here, it makes for basically five nine to six foot four, I would say, with height. And the reach is absolutely amazing. You know, going over the handlebars and you have that reach, it is a good reach to where you're not really hunched over far. You're more so sitting straight up and it's a very comfortable ride. You can also adjust these handlebars inside the stem. So you can basically adjust them to be down or back. And then this is also adjustable as well. This I left loose so that I could adjust at any time, be able to plug my phone in or any other display on the handlebar. Now, these little grippers here on the brakes make for a good feel. Now, I know it's not really that big of a deal for a lot of people, but it's a very nice touch when it comes to build quality. It makes you feel that like you're getting like a premium bike. Now I am going to adjust the suspension because I had it adjusted for the road and now it should give me a little bit more play with suspension when I'm coming up that, uh, that gravel. So let's get down this hill, hit this thing up and show you guys what it can do. I wasn't joking, it's steep. All right, so we're gonna use nothing but throttle here. from back here, it should give me about 20 miles per hour going up that. Easy peasy. Now with that chain slapping you heard, you're gonna hear that basically on any mountain bike. It all depends on what gear you're in. Now this one, you're really gonna hear it because I had the gearing lower. So the slapping was gonna hit that chain stay no matter what I did. If I ran into a higher gear, it's not to say that it wouldn't slap, but it'd be less likely to slap on any other terrain. Like I said earlier, this hill is pretty rocky. I mean, you can see the terrain that this hill had to offer. Carving out of the grass, big chunks of rock, gravel. And like I said, it was pretty steep. So that would explain the chain slapping scenario. Now they do offer a range of different bikes. So this one is more well-rounded for, you know, gravel, roadways, and trails, just like you see here. Now Ad Motor has a full line of bikes out there, whether you wanna ride all terrain like this or strictly gravel or strictly paved, or you even wanna go further and beyond of that, which we'll talk a little bit more at the end of this video about those bikes and maybe cross our fingers we can get one of those coming here in the near future. Let's get back on the trails and we'll talk a lot more about the specs and we'll go really diving deep on what this bike has to offer.
Now as we zoom out and take a wider look at the Ad Motor All-Terrain Mountain Bike, you will see it is riding on 26 inch wheels. It's for the overall ease when getting on the bike as well as accommodating the 26 by 4 fat tires to make a smoother ride when transitioning from road, gravel, and rugged trails. When looking closer at the back wheel, you will notice that it's running a high torque 750 watt Bifang motor system. The Bifang motors are one of the most trusted in the e-bike industry. Now when riding this bike, you can choose to use all throttle with the hub driven motor system or you can do pedal assist with the Shimano 7 speed cassette that has 5 different settings for pedal assist options. Now the power with this pedal assist and throttle has to come from somewhere. The battery at this bike is running as a 12.8 amp hour Panasonic pack that can give you up to 55 miles of range depending on your body weight, riding elements, and what type of pedal assist setting that you're in. Now speaking of weight, the payload capacity of this bike is over 300 pounds. That would be the rider weight and whatever the rider wants to include on their ride, whether it be saddlebags, a trailer, or a child seat on the rear. Now speaking of those options, whether you run saddlebags, a trailer, or a child seat, this bike does come with a free detachable rear rack that you can use to attach saddlebags, a car seat, or if you wanted to go the route of using a trailer, you can actually attach that by the axle and the frame. Now this bike has a very smooth ride thanks to the Ad Shocks adjustable dampening system they included. This comes in handy when switching from terrain, whether you be on road, gravel, or heavy trails. Also attached to the fork is a nice aluminum fender that not only is aesthetically pleasing, but very functional on gravel trails like this. Now whether you're on the trails or the road, you also have a headlight option that can be displayed whether it's nighttime or daytime that you can actually control through the display on the bike while the rear taillight is adjustable and able to be flipped on by a switch underneath the seat. Now this bike has great stopping power thanks to the Tektra setup that's on here. With the 180 millimeter rotors, makes for a great touch when it comes to stopping because at the end of the day, when you're going really fast on an e-bike, you want to be able to stop on the dime and this bike does that. One thing I would have to note is the Ad Motor padded seat is one of the most comfortable seats I've ever ridden. It's really fat and I feel like it's one of those things that when you're riding, you really wish you had a fat seat when you're on very long rides and this definitely does the job. Now the comfort of this saddle would be pointless if it wasn't for the Pro Max Quick Release System. Now the Pro Max Quick Release System will allow you to be able to adjust the seat up and down depending on your rider's height, whether you're 5'9 or all the way up to 6'4. Now after adjusting the seat to your standover ride height that is suitable for you, you'll want to reach forward to the ergonomical grips that are in front of you. Now everything in this cockpit is pleasantly laid out with the display front and center for you to be able to control everything that is on the bike. You'll be able to seamlessly roll through all the gears while also notifying people that you're on their left by using this bell. Now one of my favorite features about this bike can easily get glossed over and it's this little button. This little button you press it in and you can use nothing but throttle. But if you press it in again, then you have no access to throttle and it's all pedal assist. That way there's no mistakes on the trail. Now this display is an Ad Motor 5 inch LCD display with a USB port. The USB port comes in handy if you want to be able to attach your phone to the handlebar or any other display while also charging it off of the battery. The display also makes it very easy for you to understand what level of pedal assist that you're in since there's five different pedal assist levels. You also want to make sure that when you're using the levels that you understand how an electric bike works because your first quarter pedal you will feel a little bit of a jolt if you're not ready for it. And then once you're ready and you're riding, you'll never stop and you'll never go back. I just saw this thing. I'm gonna come back on my BMX bike for this thing, but we're gonna get a nice sick carve on this. Yes. All right, guys, going to do it for today's video featuring the Ad Motor All Terrain Mountain Bike. I have to say that this takes the cake when it comes to the budget friendly bike. So, if you guys are in the market looking for a bike like this, definitely click the link in the description below. Check it out. Check out all their bikes on their website. These things are absolute beasts, and I can't wait to try out more here in the near future on my channel. If you guys have any other suggestions for future videos you want to see on the channel or other bikes you want to see on the channel, put a comment below. With that being said, if you guys like this video, drop a like. If you'd love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.